you will probably hear some of them saying she can't be reached or she won't comment and I won't ever because this relationship that we are building is too fragile um, to jeopardize. It's been a week since Durham's mayor, Elaine O'Neill, made that comment during a board meeting about the ongoing gun violence issue. And said the mayor says she's having private meetings with members of the community who've been impacted by violence, but some we spoke with say they want more transparency from her on the issue. CBS 17's Crystal Price has their message to the mayor. He just walked out of the mama house with a car sitting on the side up there, and they just shot him. Teresa Washington says it was her 21 year old step grandson. Israel Nahaguna, who was shot in broad daylight right outside Calvert Place Apartments on East Main. He stayed in the hospital until that Wednesday and he died. They in these offices, they need to help these people. This comes as Mayor Elaine O'Neill recently said during a city council meeting that she won't ever speak publicly about the work she's doing to address gun violence in the city. Uh, there's a lack of trust uh, between the government folk that I'm dealing with, and I can't compromise. Uh, this trust building relationship. Washington says she wants the mayor to be more transparent about what she's doing to address the problem. She, I haven't seen that woman in this neighborhood since we've been over here and she's been in office. I'm not talking about telling you every little nick and cranny of the plans that you're trying to do, but at least keep the, the, the community abreast of what you're trying to do. Charlita Burris lives down the road from Washington in the Edgemont Elms public housing community, where she continues to hear gunfire late at night. She argues that the people experiencing this gun violence deserve to know what's being done to address it. And there shouldn't be no hidden agendas. And what I mean by that, we live here. I experienced gunfire right in the back of my house. I'm sitting in my living room hoping a bullet won't come through that window. You know, you don't have to per se pinpoint your resources, but you can let us know what you're doing. In Durham, Crystal Price, CBS 17 News. Crystal, thank you. It is important to point out that the mayor did say she would talk more about the crime-fighting efforts when there's no chance that the work she's doing will be jeopardized.